The topic of this episode of Casting 495 Celebrities Worldwide is United Blood Nation, UBN, Uniform Bravo November, United Blood Nation. And yes, I'm talking about a nation of Bloods gangsters, Bloods gang members, Bloods who have come together under one nation called UBN. My name is One Sir Grove. I am your host. Hope that you're having a pleasant day, night, evening, midday, midnight, dusk, dawn, wherever you are in the world. If you're a fan of the show, we appreciate you. So let's just get right into it. What I'm going to reveal to the world in this 151st, that is the 151st episode of C4CW, casting 495 celebrities worldwide, is a deeper reality about United Blood Nation that 99% of the human population does not know about, is not aware of, and does not talk about. Now, if you're not an initiate, if you're not part of a U.S. street gang, if you've never been part of a U.S. street gang, if you don't really know jack shit about Bloods gangs, other than what you've seen and heard and news media, word of mouth through the grapevine, etc. If you're a casual observer, if you're a researcher analyst, if you're a federal agent, if you're a member of law enforcement, if you're some buddy over the age of 18, 21, and you're tuning in and you just want to know, or maybe you're just randomly just scanning through different channels, podcasts, different stations, scanning the spectrum, looking for some content, and you just happen to randomly happen upon this particular episode, well, you're in for a fucking surprise, man. You're in for a treat. This episode is about how most of the human population, though it may seem insignificant to you at first, on the surface, perhaps it doesn't. Perhaps you're like, whoa, this is eye-opening. This is really fucking interesting. Never knew that shit. Or maybe you're like, I don't even give a fuck what you're talking about, Grove. Yeah, I'm Big Grove Dog, a.k.a. Grovey D, a.k.a. One Sir Grove, a.k.a. O-S-G-O-E. The significance in less than three minutes, you notice I'm not saying hit the like button or subscribe. I don't say that shit. I never have. I don't give a fuck about any of that. You either like the show or you don't. This episode is about United Bloods, UBN, not a Bloods nation. Bloods gangs, they united under one banner, UBN, not a blood nation. Now, again, if you're not hip, in other words, if you're not privy, if you don't know, you might be thinking, so what? What's the big fucking deal? What are you, what are you going on about, man? Like, what's the big deal about this United Blood Nation? Ain't that just some fucking other gang? Ain't that just some fucking bullshit-ass criminal organization, organized crime network? Blah, 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 blase, blah, motherfucker. Well, Takashi 69 what do you know about that dude? You ever heard of a, you ever heard of a dude named Takashi 69 You ever heard of the East Coast Bloods? You ever heard of these cats in New York, right here, where I am in New York, who claim uh, Nine Trey, Gangsta Bloods? You ever heard of these dudes, Treyway Entertainment? You ever heard of 6ix9ine? You ever heard of Takashi? You ever heard of UBN? What you know about United Blood Nation, UBN? Seriously, man, the fuck you know? Are you in a gang? I'm not advocating gang uh, culture. I'm not glorifying gang culture. I'm not proselytizing gang culture. I'm not extolling gang culture. And just as a disclaimer, and just as a reality, and just as I've said before, yo man, if you're under the age of 18, 21, I can't give you any kind of legal or business advice regardless of your age. And I suggest you don't join a fucking gang. Really? Seriously? Truly? I mean that. There are a lot of dudes, they talk about how they'd been in gangs, they made mistakes, and how they, uh, with their assertions and their contentions and their presentations, they want to lead you to believe that they don't want for you to ever be part of the gang 
But the truth is they really, truly do want for you to be part of the gang at some point because it helps them, it benefits them, it's to their advantage in their minds. If you join, I'm saying this to you. If you're not in the gang, just don't even fucking join, man. It ain't even worth it. For real. Seriously. And I mean that. I've listened to a lot of... I've, listen, I'm almost a half century old. I've listened to a lot of faulty niggas, and you can hear it in their voice what is real and what is not in terms of their um, genuineness, their disingenuity. Are, are they saying to you one thing, but they mean and they mean something else? Are they double talking? I'm saying to you, man, listen to my voice and listen to how adamant I am. This isn't a public service announcement in that I'm trying to uh, preach God or anything like this and say to you, uh, live a squeaky cl- clean lifestyle and don't do anything uh, bad ever in your lifetime. That's not what I'm saying to you because everyone makes mistakes. I made mistakes. You'll make mistakes. I've made mistakes. You'll make mistakes. Humans make mistakes. We do stupid shit. I'm saying to you, I am saying to you, I am sharing with you and conveying to you that I genuinely, motherfucking honestly, 100% wholeheartedly am saying to you, man, if you ain't been in a gang and you're thinking about joining, just don't even fucking do it, man. It ain't worth your time. Now let's talk about United Blood Nation. Let's talk about it. Let me tell you how I got involved with United Blood Nation, how I became a full-fledged member, and how there are two United Blood Nations. I said two, that is the numeral two, dos, deuce, as some niggas may, might say. There are not just one. There is not but one. There are two United Blood Nations. And the one that a lot of y'all were told started on the East Coast in New York is in fact not, 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 I repeat, it is not for the historic U.S. American history record and international world history record not started on the East Coast originally. The original UBN is not from the East Coast, and I'm going to prove it to you and anyone who has a mind to listen, to pay attention, to listen closely, carefully, keep an open mind, and understand what it is that I'm about to share with you. Now again, now again, you may have stumbled upon this podcast, this station, by the way, this is a mobile podcast, and you may still, at this moment, be thinking to yourself, hey dude, I hear what you're saying, you're talking about there's two UBNs and some blood shit, and some gang shit, and this, this, and that, it sounds like you're kind of just rambling on. Yeah, it sounds like that to you, until you find out what the fuck it is that is significant in the context of what it is that I'm sharing with you. Most of the human population that observes gang culture, gang activity, gang awareness, gangs, uh, subcultures, believes that United Blood Nation was started on the East Coast by two individuals in a prison. It wasn't. It's not, it's not true. It's not true at all. Now, you're going to have people out there who immediately, instantly, when they hear this information, they're going to be in denial. They're going to be like, dude, what the fuck are you talking about, man? We're from the East Coast, dude. You're not a blood nation. You're out of your mind. You're bonkers. You're crazy. You're cuckoo. Popeye, Popeye. Cuckoo, cuckoo. Right? Because you're fucking ignorant and you're a stupid motherfucker and you're fucking stupid motherfuckers and you have no idea what the fuck you're talking about and you have no idea. You have no idea how this planet started, how you fucking came to this planet, who God really is. You don't even know what the fuck day it really is in the real calendar system of time, space, existence, space, time, existence. And here you are on planet Earth as a mere speck of dust in the universe fucking with your arrogance and your all-knowing nature and you're like huh, fuck you dude i'm i'm ubn and ubn started on the east coast and man you're tripping and you're smoking and you're fucking you're delusional and you need to take your meds and you're crazy and you're, yeah you've been saying that shit you stereotype you stereotypes 
You and you fucking, and you derelict, you derelict fucking ignorance. You motherfucking heathens, dude. You never cease to amaze me, man. Let's look up United Blood Nation, and I'm going to prove all of you wrong here for the official record. And I'm going to tell you shit, man. I'm going to explain some shit to you about the world and the universe and information and how it works and how you've been deceived and how fucking stupid you are if you actually believe that United Blood Nation was actually started on the East Coast and you're going to stick to that story and you're not even going to fucking... You're not even gonna, you're not even going to give it any kind of thought beyond what you already fucking believe is true. Like if 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 you think I've gone to this extent to break this story to the world, to share this information with you and and be as passionate about this as I am being. If you think I've gone as far as I have, man, only for you to try to 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 fucking disprove me. And to prove me wrong, you want to refute my information? I get it, man. I understand. You think you fucking know everything. You think you got it all figured out, you know, because you think that fucking UBN started on the East Coast and it's been in the news and it's been on fucking TV programs and it's been on this show. I don't know what shows National Geographic, Vice TV, fucking Gangland, FBI files, this, this and that. You're all wrong now. You stupid motherfuckers, man, that would actually believe some shit like United Blood Nation started on the East Coast. It just goes, it just goes to show how easily you can be fucking brainwashed over and over again, time and time again, and you'll follow some shit. You'll follow some shit without doing some actual fucking deep research and doing some due diligence. Now let's look at Wikipedia here as I break this story to the world. You're not a blood nation, also known as the East Coast Bloods. Since when? Since who the fuck wrote this Wikipedia shit? United Blood Nation, also known as the East Coast Bloods? I beg to differ. And you'll understand why after... I fucking break this down for you and dissect this intel and I fucking disseminate uh, this information that you don't know about. And after I deconstruct this body of so-called knowledge here that you believe to be true because it's written in your non-scholarly medium of information delivery, i.e. Wikipedia, you're not a blood nation also known as the East Coast Bloods, Yawn, is a gang active primarily in the New York metropolitan area. (laughs) That's funny. Their main source of income is the trafficking and sell of illegal drugs. Really? That's the main source of income for UBN, huh? (laughs) You're going to find out that's not true either. United Blood Nation, founded in 1993. Huh, really? That's not true. Founders, Omar Porti and Leonard McKenzie. <laughs> okay, dude, wow. Where, where did that happen? In what universe of space, time, time, space, uh, in what galaxy, in what star system, on what parallel Earth did Omar Porti and Leonard McKenzie become the two soul exclusive fucking founders of United Blood Nation on your timeline. Oh yeah, that's right. That's not true either. Founding location, Rikers Island, New York City. Nope, that's false data. Years active, 1993 to present. Fallacious information, 100% fucking fake data, fake intel, not real, not true, not historic in context, bullshit, totally fucking fabricated, made up, contrived, not even close to being fucking real. Territory, mostly New York. Well, that's a farce too, dude. With some activity on the East Coast and areas of the Mid-Atlantic and the Southeast United States. Oh, it's so convenient that whoever made this fucking, this, this story up, Whoever made up this ruse 
with their subterfuge and their deception, they conveniently left out the West Coast, the Pacific Northwest, Seattle, Everett, Tacoma, Washington, California, Oregon, Idaho, Montana, Nevada, and all they talk about is the East Coast. That's really fucking convenient. And I'll elucidate and highlight and get to that in just a moment. Ethnicity. Mostly African American with some Caucasian, oh I'm sorry, some Asian, Hispanic, and Caucasian sets. Now that part's true. Membership, approximately 7,000 as of 2005. That's fake data. UBN is bigger than this. Criminal activities. All it says is dish. <laughs> These fucking rejects, man. Criminal activities. What? Keep in mind, world audience, I'm on Sir Grove, a.k.a. Big Grove Dog, a.k.a. Dr. Grove. I'm not a real doctor. It's my rap name, just like Dr. Dre calls himself Dr. Dre. Yo, check game. Wikipedia is fucking rejected, man. I don't want to say retarded. I stopped saying retarded a long time ago. I just say reje- rejected in place of that. I, suppla- I supplanted retarded with rejected and... Foolish, foolish in terms of uh, the two being synonymous. Whoever wrote this is fucking foolish and fucking rejected and misinformed. And if this person knows the reality, deeper reality, this person's a fucking rejected, foolish fucking liar on top of it all. Okay? Criminal activities, drug distribution and sales. <laughs> That's so stupid. Let's go to Wikipedia and let's bring up, let's look at uh, Black Disciples, Gangster Disciples, Black Gangster Disciples. Let's check out GDs. Let's just bring that up for a moment in terms of uh, a uh, a comparison. Let's compare and contrast. Let's look at the juxtaposition between what we just fucking read aloud, that is out loud, ourselves, and uh, in what it says here in Wikipedia for Gangster Disciples, founded Larry Hoover, David Barksdale, founding location, Chicago, Illinois, years active, 1968 to present, territory, various, ethnicity, mostly African-American, membership, 25,000 to 50,000 as of 2009. Now check it out. This is the point that I'm making here. Criminal activities, street level drug distribution, assault. Auto theft, firearms, violations, fraud, homicide, prostitution rings, money laundering, allies, folks, rivals, bloods, black disciples, vice lords, black peacestones, four corner hustlers, Latin kings. Huh, that's interesting. Not only did Wikipedia for Unite a Blood Nation indicate that criminal activities of blood, uh, Unite a Blood Nation, UBN, is only drug distribution as opposed to assault, auto theft, firearms, violation, fraud, homicide, prostitution rings, money laundering, etc., 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 right? It failed to leave any and all of that information out with regard to UBN. Also, what it doesn't say here, number two, in terms of gangster disciples, is that in the Pacific Northwest, in many different neighborhoods, Folk, i.e. folks gangs, actually, believe it or not, despite what Wikipedia says here, rivals, bloods. Huh, that's weird. I can name some different parts of the Pacific Northwest, Washington State, where GDs, that is gangster disciples, actually get along with bloods gangs and cooperate with them. But here... Of course, on fucking dick sucking motherfucking Wikipedia, it says rivals bloods. Granted, understood. Historically, in the past, folks, GDs, blue, black, this, that, they didn't fuck with bloods back in the day. But in the Pacific Northwest, sometimes they do. Is that, is that mentioned in Wikipedia? Of course not, because Wikipedia is a dick-sucking, bitch-made, chump-made 
chump ass, bitch ass, non scholarly, non for real, in other words, fake as fuck website. Now check this out. Let's go back. Let's go back to you. Not a, we're not going to get into black disciples. We're not going to get into black gangster disciples. We're not going to get into the whole lit of it all. That's a different subject for a different day. I just wanted to show you a little comparison here. Little compare and contrast. A little juxtaposition. Let's go back to UBN as it was, as it were. So we're looking at United Blood Nation. Now keep in mind what I'm sharing with you. Most of the world doesn't know. So criminal activities, again, whoever fucking wrote this shit on Wikipedia, all it says for UBN, because keep in mind, whoever wrote this, minimize the information and try to make it sound like it's all entirely fucking East Coast shit. And criminal activities, drug distribution, that's it. Let's look at the membership here. Members of the gang are mostly African-American males. Some sets have Asian, Hispanic, and Caucasian members. While some sets allow female members, their status varies between sets. As of 2005, membership was estimated at 7,000 nationwide with 5,000 of those in the New York area. In 2000, and it doesn't make any mention of anywhere else in the U.S. Notice that. It just talks about fucking goddamn New York. In 2017, the head of the United Blood Nation was alleged by federal prosecutors to be Pedro Gutierrez, who allegedly directed the UBN despite being in prison in New York State while serving a murder sentence. Huh, that's weird. Huh, Pedro Gutierrez? That's who the feds say was the head of United Blood Nation <laughs> in, 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 in 2017? <laughs> that's fucking preposterous. Now check this out. History. In 1993, Blood's gang leaders Omar Porti and Leonard McKenzie incarcerated at Rikers Island. Again, they're just talking about New York. New York decided to unify their factions as the United Blood Nation to protect members from the dominant Latin Kings gangs. Symbols. (laughs) United Blood Nation. Fa- now, I'm laughing because I'm United Blood Nation. I'm part of United Blood Nation. I was initiated into United Blood Nation before this shit existed in 1993 on the East Coast. That's why I'm laughing. And I have over a thousand people who I can bring to the fore on international television to bear witness. Oh, and it's also on Gang File in the Pacific Northwest. It's also on Gang File. It's also on FBI gang file. It's also on FBI gang file. It's also on FBI gang file. Yeah, I said it three times in a row. You notice how I enunciated that very fucking precisely and perfectly? It's already on fucking gang file in the Pacific Northwest. It's already on gang file in the Pacific Northwest. Oh, that's right. It's already on FBI and gang task force file in the Pacific Northwest predating that is before the year 1993. Huh, imagine that. Back to Wikipedia and their fake-ass bullshit. Symbols. <laughs> United Blood Nation factions are identified by the local telephone area code. Gang graffiti often includes the letter C, crossed out. The abbreviation CK. Yeah, like my homeboy Solo, R.I.P. My homeboy, my big homeboy Solo, when he would shake your hand, he had a CK tattooed on his fucking hand. Gang graffiti often includes the letter C crossed out. By the way, that was before the year 2000, uh, 1993, and that wasn't motherfucking goddamn New York. Gang graffiti often includes the letter C crossed out, the abbreviation CK for Crip Killer, the number 031, the letter S is in Sierra crossed out as slobs, is an offensive nickname for Bloods. Gang tattoos often use three, that's the number after two, Three dots representing a dog paw, bulldogs, and M-O-B. That's M period O period B period for members of Bloods or money over bitches. <laughs> check out references. Wootson Cleave R. Jr. 2014. Final member of local blood gang sentenced to federal prison. Um, nine Trey gang members sentenced to prison. Uh, that was, um, unassigned, undated Sampson County Sheriff's Office, 
May 17, 2017. And then finally, the fourth citation here, Gordon Michael, Michael Gordon, May 23, 23 May 2017. Feds say Godfather of Bloods ran the Charlotte gang from New York prison cell. Charlotte Observer retrieved May 30, 30 May 2017. You know what's sick about human fucking society? How stupid and how fucking brainwashed and how gullible motherfucking humanoids are. Okay? None of it, most of this shit is not real that I just read to you in terms of United Blood Nation. It's not how United Blood Nation was founded. It's not how it was formed. It's not how it was created. It's not even close to being fucking real or true or factual in any fucking way, shape, or form. That's what that that's what gangland would have you believe with their presentation. Now my video's been seen tens of thousands of times on YouTube, and I've already explained this to a subset of the human population. I've already broken it down. I've already highlighted this. I've already elucidated this information. I've already brought it to the public's attention. I'm bringing it to a wider audience's attention. Now I'm college university educated. Some of you motherfucking hating ass niggas might be thinking, oh, man, you're just rambling on, dude. You're at uh, 26 minutes and 22 seconds. Hey, isn't Takashi 69 part of UBN? Huh. Wasn't he part of UBN? Nine Trey Gangsta Bloods? I'm from Deuce Trey Block. I'm from the West Coast. And I'm from UBN. I'm from United Blood Nation. I was initiated into United Blood Nation along with over 1,000 individuals who are UBN from the West Coast that I can bring on any fucking television show, any fucking time. It's not a problem. That ain't nothing, man. Oh, and by the way, did I tell you that it's on FBI, file, record, police, law enforcement, government, U.S. government, record, file, recordation system of archival, retrieval, recordation, in other words, U.S. fucking government, gang task force, files, records from the West Coast, did you know that United Blood Nation was not fucking really started on the East Coast? But you have, but you have, despite such, nonetheless, you have a plethora of false data entries, false bodies of data purporting that it was created on the East Coast in 1993 by these two dudes. Let's go back to this and look this up again. Let's just go back to this so that you you can understand this. Founders, Omar, Porty, and Leonard McKenzie. <laughs> That's so fucking ridiculous, man. Okay, let's check out OG Mac. Let's just let's just check out OG Mac here. Omar Porty, aka OG Mac, or Godfather Mac, born circa 1969, common era was born in New York and was involved in creating the United Blood Nation. Well, he may have been involved in the reiteration of UBN on the East Coast, but he was not involved in the creation of United Blood Nation. Fucking period. At all. He didn't create UBN. He wasn't involved in the creation of United Blood Nation. He didn't fucking start it. In 1987, Porty claimed to have witnessed Don Taylor shoot Terrence Joyner on a Bronx, New York street in the early hours of August 16, 1987, causing Joyner's death. Based on Porty's eyewitness testimony, Taylor was convicted on April 25, 1989 and sentenced to a term of imprisonment 22 and a half years to life. At the time of his original testimony, Porty was facing multiple charges in New York stemming from his arrest on August 31, 1987. Porty faced substantial prison time in the name of 16 and two-thirds to 50 years if convicted. You see how convoluted this shit sounds? In the name of 16 and 23rds to 50 years if convicted? Who the fuck wrote this shit, okay? Porty faced substantial prison time in the name of... Do they mean in the range? Because it says in the name of 16 and two thirds to 50 years if convicted. Instead, a part of a cooperation agreement 
oh shit, are they talking about cooperation like Takashi 69 Like they claim Takashi's a snitch? Which included his testimony against Don Taylor in People vs. Taylor. Porty was allowed to plead to two to six years for all charged crimes. Two first degree robbery convictions. Received credit for 21 months time served. And was promised a favorable letter to the parole board. Sounding like Takashi 69 shit right now. As motherfuckers who's faulty claim that he's snitching. Even though he's only pleaded to what he says is his own guilt. I don't see where he snitched on anybody. But niggas claiming that Takashi 69 snitched. I ain't seen any official paperwork that Takashi 69, Daniel Hernandez, has told on anyone as of today's date. Back to fucking OG Mac. He commenced serving his sentence for these crimes on June 9, 1989. He was released on June 20, 1990. Porty later recanted his prior testimony, and Taylor's conviction was vacated. Now check this out. Where it says he was released on June 20, 1990, <laughs> OG Mac was released on June 20, 1990. United Blood Nation was already fucking bracking off. In other words, cracking off on the fucking West Coast back then. When this dude was being released from prison. Okay, it's on gang file with the United States Federal Government FBI Gang Task Force, other agencies, and the public. United Blood Nation was already... In full goddamn fucking swing on the West Coast before any of this shit that Wikipedia is talking about here. Let's continue. Porty later recanted his prior testimony and Taylor's conviction was vacated in 2004. Yawn. Whereupon Taylor was released from prison after having served over 10 years in confinement. Porty and fellow inmate Leonard, quote, Deadeye McKenzie established the United Blood Nation while incarcerated in prison in 1993. No, they did not. That is not true at all. That is a goddamn fallacy. It is an absolute fucking lie. It is not even close to being true in the reality of fucking life on your planet Earth. Okay? Now let's continue. Which was responsible for spreading gang violence from Los Angeles to New York City. Um, so again, this isn't real. This is not the real story of United Blood Nation. I was a member of United Blood Nation on the West Coast before this timeline as were thousands of other people before the shit that Wikipedia claims happened on the East Coast. And United Blood Nation was a bona fide, certified, and is unified Bloods Gang Nation that has been on police, federal government, FBI, gang task force, record predating 1993. Therefore, I submit to you, global audience, that Gangland, as I said in my video on YouTube, which has been viewed tens of thousands of times, is absolutely fucking incorrect. I don't know where Gangland got its in so-called intel. Why it fucking doesn't listen sometimes to people who have actual intel and it wants to write and present a certain published broadcast, disseminate a certain fucking narrative that it wants for you to believe. And whoever wrote the Wikipedia bullshit passage, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> in terms of the so-called history of fucking United Blood Nation. 
United Blood Nation did not, I repeat, did not, and I don't give a fuck if you're on the East Coast right here where I am, and you were led to believe, and I'm sorry to tell you this, dude, because I'm a Bloods gang member from the West Coast, and I was in a gang when I was a fucking kid before you were in a fucking gang. There's a 99% probability that if you're listening to this and you're claiming you being from the East Coast, that I was in a gang 10 to 15, 20 fucking years before you ever were, and it was United Blood Nation. And there were thousands of people on the West Coast in that gang before you and before the year 1990 fucking three. So, what that means... And what I've told you before, but you weren't fucking listening because you want to run with some lit that someone spit to you, that someone inculcated you with, that someone gave you, that someone bestowed upon you, that someone blessed you in with, or whatever your fucking story is. Y'all niggas out here on the East Coast didn't start fucking you being. It started on the West Coast, and it's on Gang File. Now... As to why, J. Edgar Hoover's COINTEL program, FBI gang task force, hasn't come forward with the same information that I just came forward with because it's on motherfucking record. I don't know why the FBI didn't step forward and tell gangland, hold up, Mm -mm, that ain't real. Nope, it did not start on the East Coast. You be in was a full-fledged nation, active gang, empire, nation, united blood nation, with thousands of members, up and down the West Coast, pre-seeding, i.e. pre-dating, 1993, before y'all's OG Mac, homie, big homie, did a reiteration a revamp, and started some shit, brought it out here to the motherfucking East Coast. I don't know why the FBI doesn't want for you to know that. I don't know what the deception is all about. I don't know what the fucking ruse is all about. I don't know what the red herring is all about. I don't know what their strategy is all about. And quite frankly, I don't give a fuck. What I know is what I just shared with you. And what I know is that I can bring over a thousand individuals to any international media broadcast network and you can interview niggas who been you being since before 1993 and if you talk to the police and the authorities FBI law enforcement US federal government and you dig into the record system archival retrieval system of gang files you'll find out Everything I've told you is 100% spot on correct and accurate. And when the fuck you do that, you're going to ask yourself, damn, this nigga Grove broke this major story to the world. Some people thought the nigga Grove was belligerent and that he was sideways and he was off his rocker. Popeye, Popeye, cuckoo. Nigga Grove was crazy, you know? Then they're going to be like, but Grove ain't crazy. And Grove's been right the whole time. And Takashi 6 9 technically is under UBN. And Shoddy and all these niggas, Psycho Billy and Snow Billy and Nine Trey, Gangsta Bloods. Nigga, I'm Douche Trey. Douche Trey from the West Coast, 23rd Street. Piru, UBN, East Side, North End, Northeast Side. And I join you, not a Blood Nation. Before this shit, the Wikipedia claims started on the East Coast, which it never really motherfucking did. It started on the West Coast. So, for some reason, down the timeline of human history, somebody wanted to tie off the West Coast and make it seem, for some fucking reason, As if you being started on the East Coast. It's obvious that this, that this is a manufactured, fabricated reality that you see in terms of Wikipedia and gangland 
and the fact that FBI has been quiet thus far, and I'm the one to expose the shit and bring it to the public's attention, that it's a hidden fucking, it's a hidden reality, it's a, it's a hidden history. Why would somebody want for you to believe that a gang, of all the gangs in the United States, of all the hundreds of gangs, over 1,000 different fucking gangs, clubs, outlaw gangs and shit, why would somebody want for you to believe, like some Mandela effect shit, I'm just putting this out there, just putting that out there, the UBN started on the on the East Coast when it clearly fucking didn't. And I don't give a fuck what y'all niggas say to the contrary. United Blood Nation did not start on the East Coast. And no, I know what you I know what you I know what some of y'all are thinking. And I'm going and I'm going to address that. Some of y'all are thinking that it was created simultaneously. It was not. Absolutely was not. Mathematically was not. Fuck no, it wasn't. Here's what happened. So, you have, you have what had been previously a secret echelon that is a sub-organization within Bloods that was somewhat centered within situated within the prison system that was United Blood Nation on the West Coast before the East Coast. So on the West Coast, not just in the West Coast prison system, but on the streets, you had a section, a division within the larger Bloods gang that was a secret sub-organization of Bloods. And that came to be, later, ultimately, United Blood Nation, which, in and of itself, rose to be its own nation. So, no longer a sub-organization. Because United Blood Nation is saying, all these different Bloods gangs from throughout the U.S. and overseas, fall under one nation, which is UBN. Started off as a sub-organization, secret subset, sub-organization of Bloods. Later, ultimately, eventually, gradually, rose to the top, the pinnacle, and became the oversight for Bloods gangs throughout America. Didn't start on the East Coast. And it most certainly wasn't motherfucking OG Mac. Now, OG Mac had knowledge of UBN. Absolutely had knowledge of UBN. And I've talked about this on my YouTube video, in my YouTube video presentation that's been viewed tens of thousands of times. And this information, by the way, is irrefutable. It's incontrovertible. If I were on stage in front of a global fucking audience with millions of viewers or tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands or fucking hundreds of people or dozens of people, whatever the fucking math, the numbers are that you want to think and about and consider and contemplate, I've already proved my case. I've already proved my point. I've already explained it. You can say whatever the fuck you want to the contrary. You can snicker. You can laugh. <laughs> Grove is crazy. Grove is crazy. He's delusional. He's out of his mind. You're fucking stupid. You're a fucking idiot. What I'm talking about is major. Because Takashi 6 9 is part of United Blood Nation. All these dudes, Nantre, Gangsta Bloods. Shh, come on, dude. UBN is international. The fact that niggas want... For you to believe that it was started on the East Coast is an agenda, just like they tried to assassinate Snow Billy. Come on, man. And then he wrote the book, 69 Shots. Yo, because they tried to silence him. Nine Trey, Gangsta Bloods, they didn't want for his story and his information to get out, but it got out any fucking way. Somebody has had an agenda for a long time running. 
And I've presented this information very clearly and very concisely in less than fucking 45 minutes. We're at 44 minutes and 43 seconds at this point. And I've already conveyed most of the information. So check it out. I don't need to go too much farther beyond this point or further. No, I've already explained it. United Blood Nation was not founded, established, created, started on the East Coast. And OG Mac isn't the real fucking founder, wasn't the real fucking founder in any way, fucking shape or form. He was sanctioned. Someone let him take the knowledge that he had, okay, that he has, and gave him authorization to create an East Coast branch of UBN. Nonetheless, it was not started on the East fucking coast. And I've already explained to you that it's on FBI, United States, gang task force, government, fucking law enforcement, national, international record that the shit didn't fucking start on the East Coast. You can look it up. You can talk to people who are UBN. You can interview them. Why don't you bring them on your fucking TV shows? Why don't you bring them on your radio stations? You want to talk to all these derelict suckers all the time on fucking TMZ? You want to talk about Takashi 6 9 snitching even though there's no fucking proof that he has? All he's done is admitted to his own guilt that he says that he did. He hasn't named anybody's names on any fucking paper that I've seen, right? But here you niggas is talking about he snitched. It's your agenda. Just like it's been your agenda to try to lead niggas to believe that y'all created fucking United Blood Nation out here on the East Coast, which you did not fucking do, okay? OG Mac with the five-point star, that's his own shit. That's his artistic license. We don't do that on the fucking West Coast. We don't throw up fives on the West Coast. Some niggas do, but most UBN don't. And before you were UBN on the, on the East Coast, before you ever even fucking had a concept for UBN or even fucking considered UBN or even knew what the fuck UBN or had any inkling, any iota of any grain of salt worth of intel of what fucking United Blood Nation was and is before you joined it, I was in fucking UBN. My niggas have been UBN. And out west on the west coast, we don't throw up fucking five point stars. We don't throw up OG Max five point red star. He designed that shit for the east coast, for y'all's east coast version of UBN. Somebody let him do that. That's right. Somebody allowed for him to create his version Of United Blood Nation, which was not originally founded or started on the East Coast. And I've already proved my fucking point. Case in fucking point. You think you're going to call me out and challenge me and think I can't back it up in terms of what I said? I could bring over a thousand individuals who are witnesses to the fact that UBN started on the West Coast. And they've been UBN. And it's not a coincidence. No, it's not a coincidence. OG Mac didn't just have an epiphany one day and be like, yo, I'm going to start this thing out on the East Coast. And it's 100% identical to something that already started long ago on the West Coast. No, he got his intel from us. Somebody allowed for him to do the shit that he was doing. His version, his iteration Okay, his artistic license for whatever motherfucking goddamn reason he wanted to have niggas on the East Coast throw up fives, five point stars, red five point stars. We don't do that on the West Coast. We never did that on the West Coast. But OG Mac, he did that. That's what some East Coast bloods do. That's what some East Coast bloods do. And that's what East Coast UBN does. Sometimes that's not what the fuck UBN does out West. And I'm not going to go into particulars of details other than what I've already shared with you, which is that you're not a blood nation in no way, shape or form was founded on the East coast was started on the East coast and OG Mac did not motherfucking found 
did not motherfucking found for emphasis. And I'm saying this to you and the world global audience, you not a blood nation. Fuck no, he didn't, man. And if you think that he did, if you think that he did at this point, you're fucking high, dude. You're smoking fucking ice. There's something wrong with you. You're living in fucking denial. Leonard McKenzie and Omar Porty? Fucking seriously, man? Really? Check this out. On Wikipedia, where it shows founders, it doesn't even have a hyperlink for Leonard McKenzie. It has a hyperlink for Omar Porty, a.k.a. OG Mac, the so-called founder of fucking United Blood Nation, which I was a member of before 1993 and thousands of other people on the West Coast. When you go to the name below, Omar Porty, a.k.a. OG Mac, Leonard McKenzie, the shit is in red. It's in fucking red, and you can't even hyperlink to anything. There's not even a fucking page on this guy on Wikipedia. If he were truly a founder of United Blood Nation, certainly on Wikipedia, with all of its wisdom and knowledge and understanding, it would have a fucking page for Leonard McKenzie. But guess what? As of, here's the date, as of 10 February Sunday at 0300 uh, hours, there is no page for uh, this dude, Leonard McKenzie, supposedly uh, one of two founders of United Blood Nation. What a fucking coincidence. Isn't that amazing? Yeah, United Blood Nation with the lofty title of the organization. And there's only one page for one of the two members and not the other so-called fucking founder is what I meant. There's only one page for one of the founders is what I meant to say. And there's just conveniently not another uh, page for the other founder. No, there's no page for Leonard McKenzie. The, uh, this page has not been created. Create page or no thanks. How about this? Fuck Wikipedia. Fuck the people who bastardized U.S. American international history purporting, claiming that, uh, OG Mac created United Blood Nation when he never did. Fuck Gangland for playing along with that shit and presenting to the public a false fucking story of history that United Blood Nation, also known as the East Coast Bloods, not real history. I'm not saying East Coast Bloods aren't sanctioned and that they're not real. They are. They're Bloods gangs. But they didn't start UBN. OG Mac didn't start it. McKinsey didn't fucking start it. And it's not an East Coast thing originally. It's a West Coast thing. Now I could go on, but I've already made my point. In less than 60 fucking minutes. Did I need a video camera? Did I need a major budget? Did I shoot an independent documentary film? No. I just explained it to you verbally and vocally. And that's the reality of it. So all y'all niggas can go on and on and on on the East Coast and wherever with this story that you have in your fucking brains and in, in your minds. That UBN is an East Coast thing. It was started by OG Mac and this dude. Wait, hold up. I got to go back and look. Oh, yeah, that's right. There's not even a page. I don't know. Some dude named McKenzie <laughs> or whatever. Yeah, dude, that shit is rejected, man. Rejected. Now, think of all the people in the world, consider, who haven't listened to this podcast. They have no clue. In the realm of humans, that what I have just shared with you is in fact factual, and the facts and true and real, they have no idea. So in their minds, they believe this fucking false story of creation, (laughs) essentially, of United Blood Nation. They believe this false fucking story, false testimony, made up fucking fictitious, goddamn apocryphal story 
that UBN started on the East Coast. I proved to you that it hasn't. You know that I proved it. You can listen to these niggas on YouTube and you can listen to their stupid motherfucking presentations and their derelict fucking presentations and their trite, vapid, pedestrian attempts to explain their history of their gang and their lit and all this kind of shit. I was in their fucking gang before they were in my gang. I was part of UBN before they even fucking knew what United Blood Nation was and is. I've been UBN since before some of these niggas were fucking alive. And here they are. How dare they go on world stage claiming all this shit. Takashi 6 9 snitching. They ain't even got any paperwork that he is. And these niggas claiming that they live by some strict code of ethics and shit. UBN shit. Okay? These niggas are using my gang as a backdrop. For their fucking movie that they made up in their minds. And they're not even citing their sources of information properly. Because they've been brainwashed and led to believe that they created some shit that they fucking didn't create. My name's One Sir Grove. You can check my references, man.